Hi, my name is Tom Percival and I'm going to be talking about the seesaw and how I made the artwork for it. So on this image, this is where the storm has passed and the bear is left alone on the beach. And there's nobody there to see, but the sea. And uh, I'll just show you quickly uh, some of the layers that went into this image. So if I turn them all off, uh, and then we can go through and turn them all back on, and you all get to the idea. So, I would start off with, for example, uh, a bit of sea. So here we've got a little section of, uh, of sea. So this is from an image by Maritz van der Bank, and I apologise for any horrible pronunciation. In fact, they're all going to be horrible pronunciations, so I apologise uh, multiple times. Um, this is an, a picture called Strand, and I've used the seagulls here, uh, and I actually flipped the image over, and then I made the seagulls a little bit bigger, a little bit bigger again, and I duplicated that section, and then I sort of added a slight texture over the top of it, and then I cloned in some more sea area, and then I used a different water texture from a separate painting uh, by um, Hendrik Wilhelm Mastag, and uh, yeah, and I basically built it all up, and I started to create the sea, and I was like, okay, I've got a, I've got a beach, and I've got the sea, and uh, then I needed a background, so I chose this section of background, which is called Landscape with Riders by Albert Cup. Uh, and you can see here, there's the the, the rest of the painting, um, but I didn't want the landscape, I didn't want the riders, or the cows, or the huts, I just wanted the landscape. So I took that little section of the hill, uh, and then I duplicated a bit more to give me a further horizon, and then I cloned out the riders so that we couldn't see them there. Uh, and then I realised that I needed to make some colour corrections, get it all to sit in nicely, uh, and then I started to fill in the rest of the detail, so I just dropped in these bits of the background, all these elements that I had wanted, which I'd included in my roughs, uh, and started to fill it in. So here we've got a section of this, uh, we've got an etching that was from this image here, uh, that's the full detail of it, so I just took that whole image and then I flipped it over and I colour corrected it, and then I could use that as my landscape, and I put this image by uh, Vincent van Gogh called, what's that called again, Twi Farming Village at Twilight by Vincent van Gogh. Again, apply some colour correction. I also brought in photographic elements, like this 19th century stereograph called Le Village et Glacier de Gurgu uh, by Tyrol William England. Uh, so I wanted to combine all of these different mediums together into one image. Having done that, I could just put in a few extra little touches, reflections, fences, some fence posts, some shading, oh yeah, there were some stones from separate paintings, a bit of shading, uh, and then I brought in my character. So there was the bear, which I sat in the middle of it all, and, uh, oh, the lamps, I need to turn on the lamps, go ping, there you go, the lamps. And uh, yeah, and that was that was how I approached creating the artwork. I put some final colour correction on over the whole thing just to try and make sure that everything really blended in together, give it a little bit more contrast, and that was how I created that particular image. I've really enjoyed making the book and I hope that you enjoy reading it.